Hey guys, and welcome to this video on binary search trees or BST for short. So here we want to create a binary search tree or BST from the following array. And I have that array in red and it is a unsorted integer array that contains the values seven, two, nine, one, five, and 14. Now there's a few rules that we need to know when creating our binary search tree. And I have the rules here in green, and they state um, that one, a parent node has at most two child nodes. Uh, two, the left child node is always less than the parent node. And three, the right child node is always greater than or equal to the parent node. So let's get started by first, um, uh, by first looking at our very first value in the array and constructing the tree all right so our first value in the array is the value seven so seven will be our root node and then every other value in the array will of course be its child or children all right next we look at the value two and we check to see if the uh, child is less than our root node, which is seven. If it is, then we place that node to the left of, of our parent node, which in this case is the root node, and place the value two. So uh, two is less than seven. So we're gonna go to the left and place the value two in our node, all right? Next, we look at the value nine in the array, and we check to see if nine is less than seven. It's not, so that means that nine is greater than seven, and or greater, greater than or equal to seven. So nine is gonna to go to the right of our node containing the value seven. So we put nine to the right. In our tree. All right, next we have the value one in the array. So we're going to first uh, again start checking with the root to see if one is less than seven, and one is indeed less than seven. So we go to the left of seven, and then we go to our next node, which contains the value two, and we check to see if one is less than two, and it is. So we go to the left of two and input one into our node to the left of two. All right, next up, we look at our value five in the array. And so we check to see if five is less than seven, and it is, so we go to the left of seven. Then we check to see if five is less than two, and it's not, five is greater than two. Um, so we're gonna go to the right of two and we're gonna place our node with the value five. Okay, now last but not least, we have the value 14 in the array. So we start off with our root node again. We check to see if 14 is less than seven, and 14 is not less than seven, so that means 14 is of course greater than or equal to seven, is specifically greater than seven. So we go to the right of seven, and then we get to our node that contains the value nine, and we check to see if 14 is less than nine, and it's not, so that means that 14 is greater than or equal to nine. And we go to the right of nine and place the value 14 into our node. All right, and now we have created our binary search tree from our array. Okay, so that's it. So thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button and click on that subscribe button for more videos on computer science topics like uh, data structures, algorithm analysis, and summations, and discrete mathematics. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. I have some video links uh, in the description below on more videos like this and uh, more videos on these type of topics. So be sure to check those out. And as always guys, 
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.